Welcome everybody. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is a collective read. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. We would love to have you here on a daily. You can go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. If this message resonates with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends and comment below. All right, so let's talk collective for all signs. This um in regards to love. Oh, a lot of cards came out. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the justice. We got justice and the five of pentacles. The king of cups. King of wands. The hierophant. Ooh, some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra, a uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Something needs to be balanced. Somebody feels um, left out or rejected or trying to find a balance, try to find uh, a balance in a situation that may not look so good. Um, someone feels like they need to take action um, towards something better, okay? This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. We got the four of cups that jumped out first, all right? So, yeah, so somebody's, you guys could be feeling disappointed disappointment disappointing because you may have found out that someone was not being honest with you you may have found out that somebody was being sneaky okay we got the nine of cups i feel like some of y'all want to move on to something new could be the emperor you could be have your eye on an emperor or impress, take it as it applies. You want something bigger, better. You want bigger and better because this was what you're in now is like a no, okay? <laughs> like no. You want to move forward here with the chariot. You could be dealing with the cancer, all right? So some of y'all are having going through an awakening that a chapter needs to be closed. Some of you are going to be very, very financially successful once you close this chapter here. Okay, but this situation that is in your face right now is like, no, this is hell. Okay, this is not it. Why is the four of cups here? Three of swords, yeah. There's some heartbreak, some sorrow, some pain. I'm definitely sensing third party energy. Okay, especially with the three of swords and that seven of swords here. And somebody definitely, damn sure, got some options. Okay, we got the five of cups. There's regrets. Somebody's regretting a decision. And it has to do with a love. Possibly a love triangle. Could be a Gemini involved with the lovers here. The lovers could be a choice between two people. Why is the nine of cups here? Some of y'all want to break up with someone. Like, some of y'all want to just legit, like, it's over. I don't want nothing else to do with this. I feel like some of y'all been waiting for a commitment. Like, just waiting on this, an engagement or some type of level up or some type of level of, you know, uh, showing that we're taking things to the next level. And I feel like some of y'all been waiting for it. And it's just been on hold. It's like, it's stagnant. It's a stagnant situation. A stagnant situation. Why are the seven of swords here? All right. We got the queen of cups and the four of wands. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. Um, four of wands is marriage. Somebody wants a higher level of commitment here. Somebody could be married to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and someone could be cheating, 
having an affair or something like that. Possibly with the damn devil. With the damn devil. Could be a Capricorn. Something here fell apart because somebody's uh, carrying all the weight with that Ten of Wands, so it fell apart. Tell me more. Knight of Wands. And somebody, oh yes, somebody out here doing the most. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. Like somebody out here playing, having a whole bunch of one night stands and playing, doing a lot of playing around for one. For for sure. But they slow, they move slow in a relationship, but when they out and about, they just all over the place having so much fun. But when they come around you, they just slow poking around. Tell me about the night of wands. The eight of swords. Some of y'all feel like you're stuck in this situation. You want to get out. You want something new. You want some fresh new energy. Some of y'all want a new man. A new woman. Like, it's just point blank in a period. Ooh, the lovers. Okay, that just jumped out. Somebody, I feel like some of y'all are just regretting just choice. You know, you feel like you deserve way more. Um, you put up with a lot in this situation from the past, okay? You've been putting up with this for a long time. You feel like they should be offering you more. We got the moon, um, knight of cups, and the ten of pentacles. You feel like they, you feel like you deserve more. You feel like they should be offering you more, okay? It's like by now you should be at this level. Three of pentacles for past energy, um, and the three of wands. You've been waiting for this person to collaborate with you, to work things out with you. But this person has been running, running. Like, just running away from responsibilities, running away from doing the right thing. Um, King of Cups, possibly. And the Ten of Cups. You want you want this this King of Cups energy and the Ten of Cups energy from this individual. Um, you want this person to be a stand up guy, stand up female. Um, but it's just like there's no communication, or the communication is just off. Okay, Nine of Swords uh, energy here as well too. Like this person just give you a headache. Like when y'all communicate and talk about things, it's just like it gets nowhere. And it's just like y'all feeling like you're getting over it. Like you just like at this point, it is what it is. What's future energy? Show me something good. We got the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and that Justice again. Just trying to find balance in a fucked up situation. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Tower. I feel like you, I feel like this person moves really slow. Like, they just move slow. Like, they just take their time. I feel like out of the blue, some changes may occur. Or this person may put on the front like they're making some changes. But they're really watching you or listening to your conversation. If you're having conversations with other people um, or you're on social media having conversations or posting statuses or something like that, they see what you're saying. So it's like they are out of the blue. They start making this shift or start making this change because they see what you're saying. They're listening to what you're saying. Okay. They know that it's possible that you could find somebody new or you were on the lookout for somebody new. And they'll have to compete. Five of Wands. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why they want to spy now? Queen of Pentacles. A page of Cups. Three of Cups. Yeah. 
Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got the Page of Cups. There could be some flirting going on and a little bit of, you know, being social. Okay? You're being a little too too social for their liking. So, all of a sudden, it's like they make these changes because they're, you know, feeling like, oh, shit. I may have some competition. This person is full of crap. You want some attention, okay? You want some attention from this person, okay? You've been crying over spilled milk about this. You know, it's just like you're regretting. You're having regrets about a decision, about who you choose, about who you choose to be around you, the energy that you keep, the, the person that you lay with. It's like you're having regrets. Um, this person intuition, they know that your guard up. They know that your guard up. Well, tell me more about the high priestess. Eight of Pentacles. This person feels like you, you talk negative. We got judgment. Yeah, it's like they're saying that they're trying everything. It's something here they're trying to juggle their finances. For sure, for sure. We got the King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, like they're trying to juggle their finances. But they're, they're, um, they're like, you know, I'm trying everything. I'm trying everything that I can. Yeah. To give, uh, to make this situation... Uh, a give and take thing but this person will walk out like they'll walk out they'll walk out on the family they'll walk out okay they'll walk out if you ask for something if you ask for too much if you are uh it's expecting too much from them We got the devil. There's an attachment here. There's like a codependency type of energy. Why is the devil here? Tell me more about the devil. The emperor. Yeah, there's there's somebody who has control issues. Um Somebody definitely has control issues. Could be a baby father. The emperor is the baby father energy as well, too. Queen of Wands. I feel like y'all gonna be trying to y'all gonna be getting y'all confidence back. I feel like this situation be leaving y'all uncertain and feeling like left out. We got the hermit, this Virgo's energy. I feel like you're going to be starting to feel more, like thinking more logically. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm getting some serious, a serious conversation needs to be had. And I feel like it will be had. Um, if, or whether or not, if there's going to be a new beginning in this relationship. Okay. I feel like you feel as if this person is offering wants to offer you this ten of pentacles energy this long-term commitment but you want to know that is that this person is serious because at this point i feel like you're in possibly like nine of swords energy you're feeling stressed okay i feel like a lot of y'all about to stand up for yourself you about to be standing in your power Yep, and you're going to have this conversation. You're going to just go ahead and take that leap of faith and just look, look. There's some things that need to be brought up. There's some things that we need to talk about that are issues um, for me. Yep, the sun. A lot of y'all dealing with the Leo, but I feel like this conversation is going to be had. It's going to shed some light onto the situation. Um, it's going to bring some clarity in.
A lot of y'all may be deciding, you know, time to close certain chapters. Certain chapters are closed, okay? Feel like for some, you got a king of wands here and this five of wands. You may be getting ready to make this person compete for your love, okay? Because you're standing up for yourself. I feel like you've been waiting and waiting and being patient with this person. I feel like some of y'all about to take a risk, a leap of faith, okay? Tell me more about the sun and the ace of swords. Definitely clarity is being, yeah, six of swords, Okay, and the moon, two of cups, okay? Some of y'all are going to be going private with your connection, okay? Some of y'all are going to be lay low with your connection until there's things that y'all work out. Some of y'all going to be cutting the motherfucker off, okay? And starting new. Got a new beginning. <laughs> Some of y'all going to be like, oh, no, I've been patient long enough. Next. <laughs> I've been patient long enough, okay? So, that's the message that I got for you guys. Let's get some advice. What advice do we have for the collective, please? Nine of Swords. Oh no, that's way too many cards. Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups. Somebody's juggling here. Struggling. I hear struggling with their thoughts. There needs to be some type of balance, okay? There needs to be some type of justice. Somebody wants some justice. Like, somebody wants some justice in a situation. And it's like tossing and turning at night, just thinking of ways, like, of how to come out on top of the situation where you, you're you in a better situation. You're getting, you're being justified. You're getting a justice. And find some of y'all just trying to find ways to, to get out of a situation, to where you get the justice, okay? You get justice. Justice is served. <sighs> I just don't like the energy of the Nine of Swords and then Five of Cups. Communication needs to be open. The Ace of Swords. Maybe there's some clarity that needs to be had. Maybe some truths need to be revealed. Okay. Yeah, somebody needs to speak up on what needs to be done to where you guys can work together and collaborate and be on the same page. If not, then there is a feeling of defeat. Okay, there's feelings of defeat. If there is a, a plan to work together, come together and y'all both on the same page, it's going to be some, def some energy of defeat. Okay, and I feel like some of y'all are just waiting waiting around for this person to collab with you but spirit is saying look at this where's your power baby you got it in you okay you could do certain things alone sometimes you got to show a motherfucker i could do this i could do this by my motherfucking self <laughs> I don't know if some, somebody is afraid for somebody to walk out, but this already is stressful. When the motherfucker not showing, let they go, okay? Somebody's too controlling. Somebody feels like somebody's too controlling. That's the problem. Somebody feels like somebody is too controlling. A conversation is definitely going to have to be had about how to work together as a team. This is something about a team effort. Team effort. Could be a baby mother, baby father situation for sure, for sure. The emperor keeps revealing itself. Um, could be an Aries. Yeah. 
this person isn't going to say anything about collaborating or working together. And that's the problem. This person feels like you only want to do this because you see everybody else doing it that way. You know what? Y'all might be dealing with the damn narcissist. The narcissist from hell. All right, so that's the message that I got for y'all. Be sure to let me know what's going on in the comment section below, as well as like if this message resonates with you, okay? Until next time, ciao.